I'm with NSF International and we recently conducted a germ study and in that study we focused on some of the germiest places in your kitchen. On the kitchen spatula we found salmonella, E. coli, and yeast and mold. And what people don't realize is that sometimes spatulas are actually in two pieces instead of one piece. So what we want to point out to people is that both pieces need to be cleaned and dried thoroughly. Um, specifically this area right here, uh, you want to make sure that it's free from any water or food particles. Um, just make sure you clean it in warm soapy water, clean both pieces, and then dry them thoroughly so that when you put them together, there's nothing leaking out, it's all dry and it's ready to go and it doesn't provide an environment for microorganisms. A can opener, a lot of people use this every day, but it can get really, really dirty. So if you just make sure that you, you clean this area, this groove right here, we actually found salmonella, E. coli, and yeast and mold here. So as long as you can clean this, um, make sure it's free from debris. Some can openers are dishwasher safe, so you can just scrub them a little and pop them in the dishwasher. So you have a normal household blender, and what the manufacturer normally recommends is that you disassemble the blender and remove the gasket, because right here in this area between the gasket and the the metal blade assembly, this is where we found a large amount of germs. So you want to make sure that you disassemble it, clean it in warm soapy water, and then reassemble it before you use it again. The vegetable compartment in your refrigerator, and we found that that had salmonella and listeria as well as yeast and molds. There could be cross-contamination, so you could have this compartment and it's dirty, and you're bringing in pre-washed uh, fruits and vegetables and putting them in there, and then by keeping them in that compartment, they can become dirty and cause potentially cause illness. The meat compartment in your refrigerator. Uh, we found that that had salmonella, E. coli, and yeast and mold. What you need to do is remove that compartment, remove all the contents, and then wash it in warm soapy water, rinse it with clean tap water and dry it thoroughly. Um, and then if you need to deodorize it, you could always use a mixture of baking soda and water. Um, slosh that around in the compartment, rinse it, and then dry it thoroughly before you replace it.